Hello and welcome to Andre's video blog number 34. Well, Easter is behind us and it has been an absolutely beautiful week so far. It's been in the 50s during the day and in the 20s and late 30s at night. Mostly sunny, mostly clear, meaning that we don't have the problems of below freezing temperatures anymore, which is really nice. But not only that, it keeps the staff running. But I wanted to just mention something. It's probably pretty frivolous, actually. But the other day I was at the Brewer Library in town, and they actually had a section of um, foreign language CDs. Uh, English, I suppose, German, French, Spanish, um, Esperanto, you know, who knows what. But um, anyway, all of these volumes are on CD now. They used to be on tape. And, uh, you know, I noticed there were some people there who seemed to want to learn German, and it got me to thinking about the only time I ever studied a language, and that language happened to be Spanish. Now, I had actually studied French in 1993 a little bit in preparation for a trip we did to Quebec City, where I was told they didn't really speak a lot of English and preferred not to have to deal with people who did speak a lot of English, but in still sense have changed. Anyway, um, I never really had the feeling that I was really that adept with the English language, let alone um, any other. The English form may be complicated, but having to learn masculine and feminine forms were a rather difficult concept for me to have to uh, deal with. It just seemed like there were so many more words. Actually, there probably aren't. I know a lot of people on YouTube have done some bilingual videos and the Spanish videos on here in Japanese or, or, or what have you. But um, I recently found out there are a lot of people throughout history uh, writers and scientists who may have had a poor grasp on English in some ways, but and some of them had very good grasps on it, but they knew tons of other languages. And it just baffles me how somebody can actually be able to think in several different zones, because I recently learned that English is based on the Germanic form of language, meaning German, where Asian languages are based on their own system and um, Spanish is based on its own, and French, and, and, and Spanish, and so on, and so forth, and Russian, and there's Russian languages, and Estonian, and all these. And after a while, it just gives me a headache and blurs me out, and I have to wonder. I don't know any other languages per se, except for a few key phrases, and the significant ones. But it makes me wonder, do I really have that much of a grasp in my own language? Hmm. I figure that one out. Well, this is my video blog for the day, and hopefully it wasn't too boring. It seemed a little boring to me, but this is what I had to say. And I hope that maybe someday I'll be able to say it in a number of different languages. Whatever happens, it might be fun if I can. <sighs> this is Andre's video blog number 